Uh, well, I've got jobs to do outside today. And it's not really all that warm. It looks lovely. It's a bright sunshine, blue skies. So it all looks great. <laughs> but the temperature is virtually freezing. And the wind chill is very, it takes the temperatures to below freezing. And uh, I'm not really a big fan of the cold. So uh, if I'm going to have to spend a bit of time out there, I'm going to put something warm on. It's as simple as that. Oh. The nice thing about these is they're pretty easy to put on. Uh, once you've got them on, you're nice and snug. So, that's me ready. The only problem is, it's been that long since I've worn these, and they are thermal, so they're, they're very padded. I've forgotten rule number one, which is put your, sho put your shoes on before you zip them up because you can't really bend in the middle to put your own shoes on. Uh, perhaps. Yes, I've got. No, yes. <laughs> I think I've got a solution. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's a downside of these I had forgotten about. Uh, It's all right when you're on deck and you want to kneel down to get something, but uh, this sort of thing. <laughs> oh lordy. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm doing anything that's uh, particularly exciting or anything like that. This is one of those little mundane things that has to be done. Like putting water in the tanks. <sighs> I mean, I could just wait until I run out of water and then just, just do it, but although it's cold, it's pleasant, so I'd rather do it on a day like this rather than sort of crawl around here at night. I mean, at the minute the pontoons are salted up because it got so icy here, um, but the pontoons were dangerous, and it's expected to be icy again tonight, so I'm going to take the opportunity of using the <laughs> The springtime warmth of sunshine. Let me get some water in. Well, got the hose out and uh, I've been letting it run for a few seconds because basically I like to flush the lines, both mine and the marina's lines. Um, I also need to straighten this up a bit. I've nearly tripped myself up and I have tripped up somebody in the marina so I'm just going to move all this around for a bit, get it out of the way. Ugh. I always lay the hose well out because it just gets the kinks out of it. But uh, I think I'm supposed to do something with the dinghy today, which is looking a bit minging. <laughs> it's been in the water for a couple of weeks, uh, but I don't think that's going to happen. I've got to fill the front water tank and the boat needs a bit of a scrape around the water line at the front, particularly on that side, the starboard side, because it seems to get most of the sunshine and that's where the wheat has grown. Well, say the way, life in a boat. Anyway, I'm just going to pop down and check the water level and see where I am. Well, as uh, departure looms, you soon realise that projects you were going to go and do are just going to go nowhere. So one of the projects that we wanted to do this winter was to redo the door because we've got a crack. Now, what Beverly did with the crack is she drilled it and that lasted for a year. And then this winter it's uh, got a little bit longer and we've now had to drill it again. 
So I really feel that that is on an, on its last leg. So we are not got time for the actual drawer itself. So what we're going to do is we're just going to um, replace that with um, washboards. So a simpler job. Um, and another job that I wanted to do was to service our boom, but that again is not going to get done. What is going to get done is we're going to put this part on, uh, which was bought by one of our subscribers who is, uh, live, we met him in Carnarvon, um, which is the gooseneck. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to basically do the critical stuff because time is marching on and, you soon find you realise, oh, I've got six months to do these projects. And then all of a sudden you're at one month left and it's like. <laughs> so, like I say, we've got this um, gooseneck, so let's go put it on. Well, the wheels just come off the wagon at step one. There's no way we can get the restraining bolt out without taking the seal up. Right, okay, dokie. We just can't do it. Um, no. The bolt is, um, the bolt is this length, and the clearance I have to work with above the bolt is that length. Okay, so we have to take the sail off. The sail has to go up or come off or something. We are not going to manage to do this with the sail in place. So. Idea number one just went out the window. What was idea number one? Yeah, sorry, idea number one was to support the weight of the boom using the main halyard so we could just take the pins out, get the new gooseneck and drop it in. But I, I can get the horizontal pin out and slide the boom backwards, but I can't get the vertical pin out because the, the mast sliders are holding the mast to the seal and they're in the way of the pin. So we're doomed. Well, this is a moment of truth. Uh, Beverly's um, put the stripper on the other side. So I'm just going to sort of see if it works the way I want it to work. I'm not too sure really. It is stripping the way we want it to strip, but it feels like the line is crossed. Yeah, I find it a bit awkward when I tried it. Should we should we put it facing forward so that when you put the line on, it's at the side here, and you, you can you can jam it in before you wrap it on the knuckle. Well, in that case, then if you think it's easy, you sort it out. Okay. And let me see what you're doing. Okay, let's just take all this off. I'll uh, open that off and uh, pull it so we. Can... No, no, no! Leave it on. Leave it no, on. No, it's just so that we can try it again. Because you've got to try it again. Right. So I need a big screwdriver. Okay. So that just needs to be gripped. Just peel all these lines. Within a second. Whoa! You didn't use your um. I didn't use my catcher. You didn't use your catcher, did you, Dafty? Right. Okay. So we want this on facing forward. Yes. Right. Oh, I see. So you just put it on there. Yeah. And you've got to keep it all together there like that, like okay. That. Then the ring goes on. And then hang on a second. Then this goes on. If I can if I do it carefully, I can actually get the screw. Oh, in the right place. In the right place and everything. And just keep it in with my fingertip like that. I've I've disturbed the screw, but I'll just back it. There it goes, it's fell into its threads. So she's just backed it and now it's in. And you'll know it, you'll know it's tight when it does that, so I just grab that and give it a Okay. Right, so the stripper's now in a different place. So it's in a different place, so let's try that for, for size. Nearly lost the winter overboard. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly did not use her patented... Oh, that's going to winch much better, Bev. Yeah. And it'll, yes. st it'll still strip off under that side. It'll still strip the way we want it to strip. Yes. No, it, it comes round here. But it's still, on, it's still in the boat. Yeah, okay. It's not going over the side or anything. It is coming into the cockpit. Yeah, it goes round and back. The other option would be to have it facing inboard. Okay, well, let's try that. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> All this experimentation. Right, let's pull that through. 
Okay, this time don't let it all drop overboard. Okay, I'm here for the catcher. <laughs> Really easy to do, it's like somebody had freshly serviced it. <laughs> there is that. Okay, so I'm just going to move that and this. Right, so they're not going to fall over because Beverly has. And not... I'm now holding this. Right, and it's okay, and then you put it to where you want it. Yeah. And it has to go together. They drop together. And now you put the back on. <laughs> we'll try and fair it stripping it again. go. We tip the nut backwards or the bolt until it clicks. That sounded like it. Oh, let's try it again. Just do two nuts. Round. Okay, where's my winch handle vanished? It's over there, Beverly. Got it. Gonna... That feels like a better angle. That'll be perfect because look, this is going to come like that. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's 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 how we want it. Right. Should we get on with the job we started to do today? <laughs> yeah. We'll try and get onto the critical path. <laughs> But all this chaos has been caused because we want to change this one little part here. Well, our idea to lift the boom and everything, keep the sail on, was a complete bust. So we've removed the sail and... Uh, now we can remove the boom. Yeah. But it just, if we haven't done this rule of thumb, it just reminds me, there are no shortcuts short on a boat. boat. You really, really do have to, you know, remove, in this case, the sail. But it's all bagged up now. Uh, and uh, we're going to use it as a positive because there's some boom maintenance I've been meaning to do. Clean the lines, all that kind of stuff. So, so we've got to take so, the boom off anyway. We might as well get that done now. Are we taking the boom off today? Uh, let's have a look and see where we are after coffee. Good idea. Okay, so after about an hour and a half of concentrated effort and removing everything to do with the uh, seal, the boom, the uh, boom cover, the reefs, the lazy jacks and everything else, we're now back to plan one, which is to support the boom with the halyard, lift the pin, change the gooseneck, drop the pin in, we're done. Easy peasy. Oh, we think. <laughs> Okay, so Bev's, um, we've got to this point now, and um, Bev's got to remove that pin now. What, this one? Yeah. So we've removed the horizontal pin, we're in the process of removing the vertical pin. This was held in by a little bar and some seizing wire. It's in a safe place somewhere else. So we're just going to remove this one now, and then we'll talk to you when we get it out, because it's one of these jobs where re it's really all hands. Now, I recall from when we did this, there's a couple of washers in here and in here, but this is the faulty part. I'm going to go put this somewhere safe because if this goes, we're doomed. Okay, so that, that's now been taken away somewhere safe. We've got some washers in here and in here, if I remember rightly. We put them in to act as spacers and also to take the wear of this moving around because that was the original problem. Whoever had put this in originally put no wear space and you can see on here, there's wear patterns. So, moment of truth approaching. Right, that's back in. Oh, God. 
don't know what that is, but... So let's take this back to the cockpit and compare it to the other one for size before we try fitting it. So you can see the issue we had where the boom is wearing this, this hole, which is why Selden has stopped making these in alloy. This side isn't too bad, it's got a bit of wear on this side, but the steel pin is just chewing its way through this, it's not doing it any favours whatsoever. So this is the new one, and as you can see they're very similar. The holes match up, yep. more or less, there you go, you can see. Yeah. And these holes here look pretty good too. So with a bit of luck, we can just put this on. So that's it all done, and all I've got to do now is add a split pin. But the day is getting cold, and I think that'll be it for now. Well, I've cleaned up the old uh, gooseneck, um, because even though it is really, really badly worn, um, if we need a spare, we've at least got something. Um, so it's going to go in our spares box. In an emergency, it would get us to port. <sighs> yeah, but it is so ridiculously worn. Um, that's why um, they've gone off this alloy, um, Selden, and using, uh, you know, a much stronger uh, metal um to reduce wear we had to put in a lot of washers to basically stop play but we got that sorted um and we're just going to put the sail on but to be honest i am absolutely wrecked and so is bev so as far as we're concerned the day is done <laughs>